<laughs> oh, hello everybody, it's Mega Livy here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and Mr. Raccoon and myself here are a West Sodding Hell bloody raccoon. Yes, we are, uh, Mr. Raccoon and myself, ladies and gentlemen, we are aware that despite the fact we haven't uploaded videos for a year, there are a number of you who are still sticking around to watch the channel, and we'd just like to say a special thank you to those viewers. Okay, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on inside, you know, into the uh, Maze Bank offices, because we intend to purchase ourselves another vehicle. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, now before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you, don't speak to my secretary, actually, it turns out that it was her who sent up that spy satellite over the American nuclear site, you know, thank you for doing that for me. Darling, I must have, I do appreciate that. Uh, either way, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, as I said, the Maze Bank offices, and we are here to have a look at another vehicle, you know, as uh, the, what would normally drags us up uh, to this particular location. And the vehicle that we're going to have a look at today is the Benefactor LM87. And the Benefactor LM87 can be found under the Legendary Motorsport website. And there we go, sitting towards the bottom there. Okay, it'll, uh, okay we've got uh, the LM87, it's retailing, as you can see for two million nine hundred and fifteen thousand dollars my god that's a steep price tag ladies and gentlemen nearly three million dollars with it before we before you've even upgraded it we're of course going to stick it in wide and of course as always we're going to send it on up to the hillcrest residence ladies and gentlemen and on this occasion we're going to be getting there in there the matsubatsi uh, or the matsu or whatever the hell it's called the penumbra ladies and gentlemen uh, we'll be putting a video out on this in the near future uh it's a uh, retail for about 1.3 million dollars ladies and gentlemen can't give you the exact uh, pricing at this exact moment in time okay well here we are ladies and gentlemen we are going on inside into the garage you know and there we go that is the uh, the lm87 presumably ladies and gentlemen based on that stands for le mans 87 i haven't even googled it you know but that's what i'm guessing it stands for presumably a mercedes won that year or at least had a competitive year uh, what do we think of it ladies and gentlemen in terms of looks i mean it's sort of more aerodynamic than an american eagle flying a fighter jet now isn't it let's be quite frank about these things it is really rather uh, rather interesting to look at you know okay i forget to do the once around in the garage we're going to take it out into the street and there we're going to find ourselves yes yeah, we go mr raccoon and of course he's waiting for us and his own lm87 fully upgraded across the board mine is not and we're going to take these vehicles out into the street and the initial lap and see how they handle okay well ladies and gentlemen what can one say i mean in terms of acceleration you saw yourself there it sort of sets off slower than a sedated snowman now doesn't it? Let's be quite frank about these things. Uh, the handling, ladies and gentlemen, is sort of rather interesting. I mean, it's sort of it's sort of tighter than a nervous nun in a whorehouse, if you get my meaning. And whoops, that daisies. There we go. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, yeah, so sort of handling, it is very responsive, ladies and gentlemen. The acceleration doesn't seem to be uh, sort of very, you know, uh, sort of overawing to any degree. Uh, but uh, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a particularly awful traction. It's absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. You simply can't get it to shake out no matter how hard you try now in times of top speed ladies and gentlemen as you can see we really are shifting down there now we're sort of moving quicker than a kangaroo on a kawasaki motorcycle now aren't we let's, uh, let's be perfectly honest about these things uh, so yes and uh, as we get to this bottom left hand corner the handling ladies and gentlemen should uh, make it yes no problem whatsoever oh uh, there we are then ladies and gentlemen so uh, that's the initial lap and upgraded uh, for completed you know what can we say uh, well as we say handling's very good perhaps the strongest point of the vehicle uh, acceleration didn't seem particularly impressive and uh, and uh, the top end speed ladies and gentlemen yes it did seem to be shifting down that uh, that street there okay well we are uh, we have come back round to the maze bank offices ladies and gentlemen of course we're going to be taking the vehicle inside uh, to have it uh, fully modified you know that's what we're going to do right now okay so here we are ladies and gentlemen it is the uh, benefactor lm87 we have brought it into the custom auto shop as doubtlessly you are aware you know and as always ladies and gentlemen you know as always Always, of course, I'm sure you are well aware by now. Uh, we will be going through this section of the video at uh, double speed just in order to hurry things along somewhat, but still with the aim to provide you, the viewer, with the opportunity of having a look at the different modifications that can be affected to this vehicle should you then choose to go ahead and purchase it, you know. And that really is, of course, the salient point of this video, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the point that we shall uh, effectively address at the very end. But in order to uh, give you our reasons.
reasoning, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put this car through a series of tests, as of course we always do. Uh, once we've completed the modifications, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be taking it back on the street to perform another street test. Uh, and then we'll be taking it on up to uh, the top speed test track to see what this car has got under the hood. And then we're going to, of course, take it on up to Sandy Shores, ladies and gentlemen, and put this vehicle uh, around the track up against some other vehicles and uh, uh, see how it stacks up against some other vehicles from GTA Online. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be able to render uh, at least a sort of a... Uh, you know, a partly uh, uh, informed opinion on this vehicle uh, and there we are ladies and gentlemen okay so uh, we are in the custom auto shop uh, we are just going to be killing time to give you an opportunity to have a look at those uh, different modifications what can we say about it uh, we, we said basically already we're going to uh, you know it's, it's uh, handling's a good strong point ladies and gentlemen it's not particularly nimble it does have to be said uh, but it is responsive you know there are more responsive cars out there the Krieger the, the, the Progen ladies and gentlemen the Emirates there of course uh, even the Tegan ladies and gentlemen of course the RSX uh, but uh, that's not to say that, uh, what this car has got going for it gentlemen, is absolute stability you know it seems to absolutely refuse to slide out so tractions are absolutely fantastic okay well there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the uh, that is the uh, the, the uh, modifications and the upgrades and all that completed now we have got two fully modified uh, LM87s so we're going to take them out onto the street okay Mr. Raccoon sort of came a cropper there unfortunately he did so it's going to come to a hold down here for him now I should imagine yes there we go and we're going to wait for the flying path and there he goes okay so well, as you can see the acceleration there ladies and gentlemen now this is upgraded you have to understand whoops it days it don't god knows how I managed to achieve that and once again the acceleration you can see there ladies and gentlemen I mean it's sort of less convincing than the idea that the secret services don't interfere with national elections now isn't it let's be quite frank it's just that unconvincing uh, in terms of handling ladies and gentlemen despite my uh, atrocious attempts to, uh, to to navigate the vehicle down this stretch uh, I can assure you it is sort of more agile than an anorexic acrobat you know and just get around the corner there should give you an indication of that uh, the top speed like I say ladies and gentlemen is more rapid than the British government's decline in sensible fiscal policy you know, or to put it another way, faster than the British government likes to spaff money up the wall, you know, really is as simple as that. Okay, well, uh, so fast, uh, agile, very good traction, ladies and gentlemen, not particularly good acceleration. We're going to turn it on to the top speed test track and see what it can do. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are at the top speed test track, and uh, we've got uh, both uh, LM87s, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna send them down and see what sort of time we can get. Now, just to give you an indication, what we consider to be a competitive time is uh, 53 54 seconds. That is what Bugatti Zentorno can do. That's what we consider to be a sort of benchmark vehicle, and uh, what we consider to be a competitive time. And the LM87, ladies and gentlemen, my god, they crossed the line close behind each other, didn't they? How about that? And we get a 54.356, ladies and gentlemen. So it is a competitive time. And in terms of looks, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree. It's got more of a classical racer look than Fittipides, you know. And if you don't know who that is, it's the chap who ran from Marathon to Athens, you know. Okay, so here we are. It's from classical Greece, you know. That's the whole point of the reference. Uh, so we are at uh, Sandy Shores, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to bring out a number of the vehicles now. The very first vehicle we're going to be bringing out is going to be the Anis S80RR. Retailing for a price of $2,575. $5,000 ladies and gentlemen uh, and full disclosure at the start of this video uh, we did already do these tests and then unfortunately uh, I failed to record them or delete them or something along those lines so we had to go and do them again we were pushed for time ladies and gentlemen and what we generally found was that uh, the Anis S80RR crosses the line in about the same sort of time uh, we had a bit of difficulty getting on tape because I kept driving atrociously either way ladies and gentlemen they crossed the line about the same time same sort of comparable cars in our opinion uh, the rest of the laps ladies and gentlemen won't be affected in such a way I can assure you okay so uh, the next Next vehicle we're going to be bringing out is going to be another Anis, ladies and gentlemen, another sort of Le Mans style car. It is the RE7B, retailing for a very similar price to the uh, the S80 RIR, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the RE7B retailing for two million uh, four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So the, I'm sure you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, these really are extremely expensive cars. And you can see, yes, the uh, the RE7B sat a long way behind us there, ladies and gentlemen. So not particularly good. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. At least for the uh, the Anis, uh, we are now going to bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, we've sort of given up on the Le Mans style cars. There aren't really that many on the game, uh, so we're going to bring it out against some vehicles that have been released recently to see how this uh, this three million dollars, and that's what you're paying for. Bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this three million dollar single seater race car can actually do around the track. Uh, now, this vehicle, we're the first vehicle we're going to be bringing out uh, that is not a Le Mans style vehicle. It's going to be the Overflood Entity MT, retailing for two million three hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and yes, it is in fact sat behind. So at least that, ladies. And gentlemen, at least that. Uh, the next vehicle we're going to be 
bringing out after that is going to be yet another overflood. It's going to be the e overflood Zeno or Zeno or something along those lines. Getting much closer now to uh, the asking price for the uh, the uh, the Le Mans, the LM87. Uh, the Zeno retailing for two million eight hundred twenty thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, and it's got a significant lead on us there. Uh, the only thing is that the LM87 has got that fantastic handling, so I can catch him in the corner, and that was all going to come down to top speed. I did sort of give him a nudge there, but no, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. The overflow is going to take down the uh, the the, uh, the LM87 there. Okay, so uh, you know they're bound for very similar sort of price ranges, ladies and gentlemen, and there we are. Okay, so uh, another vehicle that was released relatively recently, ladies and gentlemen, is the Bugatti Ignis. Uh, it is a very yeah, very fine car, again in a similar sort of ballpark. It's not exactly three million, but my God, it's close. Uh, two million seven hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, so two and three quarter million dollars, give or take, you know. And it is a long, long way in front of us. There, I'm going to take this opportunity to point out that all of the other vehicles are, of course, being driven by Mr. Raccoon, you know. Uh, he has a channel of his own. Uh, his name is the Bromby. The channel is called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you should be going to find it. When you've got some rather good videos on there, the Ignis, ladies and gentlemen, destroys the LM87. Okay, so uh, we're going to start to wrap things up now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to bring out the benefactor Serrano. Uh, Serrano, I should say, for those of you who do not know, for the hose at home, for the uninitiated, shall we say, uh, we refer to this vehicle as a serious contender. The reason why we refer to it as a serious contender is for $110,000 only. It can take a lot of serious cars down, and unfortunately, there's not a chance in hell it's going to be able to get anywhere near the LM87. Okay, so for your three million dollars ladies and gentlemen you can substantially beat a car that costs basically a hundred thousand dollars and you one would expect so okay so uh, the next vehicle ladies and gentlemen is going to be of course big daddy z it is the pegasi zentorno retailing for seven hundred twenty five thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen uh, and it is a phenomenally fast car it's got brilliant acceleration brilliant uh, top end speed handling's a little bit slidey gotta be said uh, and that's what's going to put the lm87 round in front of it there ladies and gentlemen and uh, yes it's going to hold it now all the way down to the back so it has at least ladies and gentlemen taken down uh, the Pegasi Zentorno so one can say for your three million dollars ladies and gentlemen you are buying at least a you know a competitive vehicle in that regard there is of course only one more question left now ladies and gentlemen and that question is going to be the Garotti Itali RSX okay well let's see how this goes down then ladies and gentlemen we are bringing out what we like to call the king of the ring the undisputed champion you know the Garotti Itali RSX and we're going to now see how it stacks up against the uh, against the LM87 here uh, the Garotti Itali RSX is going for 2.6 million dollars effectively ladies and gentlemen and it's a phenomenal car and it is going to uh, it's going to destroy us so what can one say about the LM87 ladies and gentlemen in terms of acceleration I'm mean, sort of less impressive than being flashed by an impotent imbecile to be quite frank with you ladies and gentlemen uh you know in terms of handling it's sort of it's got more grip than a monkey wrench dipped in super glue and in terms of top speed ladies and gentlemen uh, it's got it's got it's sort of quicker than a hand job from a competition cup stagger you know uh, in terms of looks ladies and gentlemen more old-fashioned than the concept of a truthful news media i'm sad to uh, report uh is it worth it ladies and gentlemen both mr raccoon and myself say no and uh, just to prove that point mr raccoon is going to throw explosive on the car and i've just got to stand here and wait to die okay there we go ladies and gentlemen do hope you enjoyed the video and as always thank you very much for watching